Is there a game on the Nintendo Switch that can fulfill all your needs? You're in luck. Tesla vs. Lovecraft fulfills all the needs that you need. Quick story, running gun, and action adventure. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Rife Doctors. The game opens up to Tesla showcasing his many inventions to the public at his laboratory. The game quickly cuts to Lovecraft, a crazed lunatic who believes that Tesla's inventions are the end of humanity. With this belief, Lovecraft burns down the laboratory and is sent to prison. While in his cell, we see that Lovecraft was possessed by the Cthulhu. Tesla vs. Lovecraft is a twin stick shooter much like the likes of Judge and Neon Chrome, which Tenton Limited is synonymous for making. Much like Neon Chrome and Judge, Tesla vs. Lovecraft features some of the best twin stick shooting on the Nintendo Switch. With three different astral planes amounting to 90 different levels, this game has a huge replayability when it comes to syncing the hours that you want to play into this game. You play as Tesla and use his abilities and his inventions to your disposal. You can upgrade Tesla from his weapons, abilities, and even a mech. Each level features a progression system that you can use to upgrade abilities and weapons on the fly. Back to Tesla's mech. Tesla's mech does have the ability to be called in on the fly, but it also has a limited amount of time when you could use it. You need to collect six fragmented pieces to create the mech, but once the six pieces are collected, you up the ante with its twin gat guns on either end of the machine. Levels are fast and fluid and with Tesla's teleporting ability they feel even faster. Pros. The abilities and perks create a strategic ability in each level. Choosing the right perk or right ability for a set level can make or break your progression on that level. Like I said 90 levels. 90. That is crazy amount of replayability that you could play in this game. As you're replaying each level there's a certain amount of criteria that you need to unlock shards and these shards could be used towards upgrading certain abilities that are stacked standard to Tesla's progression. Cons. Tesla vs. Lovecraft, even though it has a story, is very lacking of a deep story. While playing, I found a lot of clipping and getting stuck on certain areas of the map where I had to always use a teleport to get out of that situation really fast. Another con is when you're playing levels over and over again and collecting shards to unlock those certain abilities or make those abilities a little bit stronger, I found it a little bit grindy. You're constantly going and doing the criteria over and over again to get these shards that will unlock certain abilities or make them stronger. Overall, 10 Ton Studios really knocked it out of the park with this game. They upped the ante and created a much deeper and more fun of a game. Tesla vs. Lovecraft isn't an overall deep game, but it is a fun game nonetheless. The lack of a deep story is a big letdown, but for the amount of time you're planning on sinking each level, sometimes just picking up a switch and grinding out a level and putting it back down, a story doesn't necessarily have to be a deep one. I give Tesla vs. Lovecraft a 4.5 out of 5. Please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. Thanks guys.